Hi Gemini, I'm Ellie and welcome to your new love reading for the month of August 2021. Take note that this is a general love reading, so take what resonates and release what doesn't. Also make sure you watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the month ahead. And if you're not aware of your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, I am going to leave a link down in the description box on how you could get your free natal chart so yeah if you are ready let's begin thank you so much my spirits angels and guides please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful gemini's regarding new love for the month of august 2021 you show me the cards that i need to see please show me the cards clearly Your overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the Two of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. The Sun. The Page of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and then the King of Swords. All right, give me a few seconds. I just want to read your spread. Okay, so Gemini, I want to see what happened to you in the recent past. I want to read your energies from there. So let's look at it from the bottom of the deck. So the page, you have the Page of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Tower, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Swords, and then the Hermit. Okay, so this is how I read your energy from your recent past. Please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just reading the energies, okay? So in the recent past, you were forced to go within yourself, to shut yourself out from the world or from your social circle. Why? Uh, okay, so you were healing. You were healing from a relationship where it brought you complete happiness at first but then you found out that this person was lying cheating stealing manipulative deceptive and all that shit he brought so okay this obviously this relationship ended it's a cycle that ended um there was a lot of breadcrumbing involved um you gave more than you took and he took a lot more than he gave or vice versa you could um switch roles uh however it resonates for you but i do feel that there is no balance there is imbalance in this relationship there was a lot of breadcrumbing involved um this was your tower moment it really shook you and it brought you down to your knees it was a realization for you that the relationship didn't have a solid foundation to stand on so it crumbled it crumbled just like that and now you are focused on self-love you had your cup of love to give to that person and he just took it without giving anything back 
now you understand that what you need to do is to love yourself fully I do understand that things are you are still in your head about this um, you are not one to tr to easily trust anyone who comes into your life and that's fine I mean we all go through that but yeah I do see that you have to forgive yourself this is not a past person coming back to I don't feel that a per past person is coming back to give you a new love offer with an apology but what I do feel is that the cup of love that you would want to offer to someone else I do feel that you should give it to you first you give it to you apologize to yourself forgive yourself and yeah love yourself fully okay so that is the past energies mm, let's see your main spread so your overall energy is the wheel of fortune this talks about things finally turning in your favor it's somewhat slow yes the wheel of fortune is a little bit slow to come in just like a pentacle it looks like a pentacle actually but yeah it's slow to come in but it's something that is good for you that's turning in in your favor so i do see things working out better for you for the month ahead when it comes to new love mm. Yeah, I could I do feel that there is a choice involved. There's a choice between you are weighing choices right now. Probably because you are trying to see if this offer is something worth your time, worth your emotions and worth your, you know, worth testing how stable you are again with your emotions this could be the first one this could be someone who left you out in the cold probably the i'm not sure maybe you're the last ex that we were talking about earlier or any previous ex so i do feel that this is someone that you left out in the cold um probably there was a third party in the relationship i'm not sure but you know third party doesn't mean doesn't always mean that it's a betrayal or ch or cheating but i it's there could be a third party energy involved like something else was prioritized over your relationship like money or uh, family or finances work or yeah a third person uh cheating but if this is this is if this is true this is something you already know um this is something you would already know yeah so this is one of your choices is someone who's returning from your past someone who has hurt you and left you out in the cold and put you in a third party situation the other one is someone who is someone new someone who's very expansive someone who is very sunny and happy and bright someone who is very abundant and you could see it at a glance you would see how abundant and sunny and happy this person is and this person the way he or she is abundant is because she understands what he or she or this person understands what they want in life in in the relationship they understand what they want that is how abundance comes into their life by understanding and being clear with what they want and they cut out bullshit when they need to so yeah you have two choices and i do feel that you are really weighing up options you are really weighing up it, which offer is best 
to spend your time on and who you should give your new offer to also so yeah that's nice right let's see the overall outcome let's see the overall outcome the overall outcome is the devil the ace of wands and then the queen of wands so this is you this is you you are the queen of wands right now your energy is the queen of wands you are turning heads that is why you are attracting old and new into your life so yeah you're very attractive you're very magnetic and you are very confident uh, yeah you know actually people who heal from really bad relationships they become a lot more beautiful after so i i'm not surprised if you are the queen of wands right now ace of wands new passion i do feel that there are two energies no still two energies involved in the outcome one is new passion i do feel that this is someone new who's entering in your life has new passion lots of sensuality you know stuff like that very passionate towards you very hot and then there's another person who is coming towards you i do feel because of the wrong reasons he's he or she is coming towards you because they have this codependency energy or obsessive or attachment towards you in the relationship that they are imagining and it's very it's such a stagnant energy you will not grow from this relationship okay so let's get advice let's get advice okay the advice of spirit is the magician the three of cups and then the nine of cups the nine of cups although this is a card of wishes coming true which is an energy that i'm getting that spirit is telling you that your wish is coming true i also feel that this is a solitary energy right now and all those nine cups all those nine cups you take it for yourself you you pour everything that all the love that you have put it i mean how can i say it how can i say it nurture yourself first self-love first before you give your love or your cup of love to someone else because how can we pour from an empty cup right so yeah fill your own cup first yeah that's what i wanted to say fill in your fill your own cup first before you give love to someone else okay three of cups um i do feel that this is about celebration celebrate every win that you have celebrate every moment and every every small detail about you you are worth celebrating and lastly the magician it just means you can manifest anything or anyone you want if you want to manifest any uh, the old person go ahead and if you want to manifest a new person and we are talking about new love and i do assume that you are listening to this reading because you want new love in your life so yeah you can manifest new love so yeah let's cap off your reading with a with an oracle okay you have two cards one is retreat and second is new love for retreat it's time to disconnect from the world okay and then new love a new person has stirred up has stirred your romantic feelings okay that's nice 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 okay last one wisdom of the oracle okay 
you have a change in the wind. So, what does this mean? A change in the wind. Mm. A change in the wind. Just a second, I'm trying to find it. Okay, the relationship message. Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other and stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth, a way for you to understand your own heart better and to know what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come from it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from drama. The air will clear and everything will be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. So, yeah. This too shall pass. So I will leave it there, my beautiful Geminis. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, also, if you want more readings, on my channel please subscribe to it i'm going to upload a lot more readings in the next few weeks completely free for everyone so yeah there you go thank you so much for watching gemini and stay blessed